<laughs> Lloyd Eisler this morning, uh, Olympian medalist, and here to talk about some other things. Uh, welcome to the Hometown Morning Show, Lloyd. Thank you, George. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, I want to talk, first of all, let's let's talk a little bit about, about your career as an Olympic uh, 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 contender. It was uh, figure skating. Correct. And uh, you said you, you started out, you've done how many o o Olympics uh, I've events done have you done? I've done five Olympic Games now. Five Olympic Games, and you've me medaled in two of them. Yeah, 92 and 94, a bronze medal in each. And I, I mentioned also that I think uh, as many luminaries as we've had here at KHTS, our little radio station, you're the first uh, medalist that I've ever actually had in studio with me. Perfect. I get to sign the wall. So uh, this is pretty exciting. And of course, uh, you're, you're still being here. You're a Santa Clarita resident. Uh, you've... you've um, been around you've you've coached you've uh you've taught you also on dancing of the stars and uh you also cribs i believe so there's all kinds of things that you guys have done uh, you you and christy together but you're here to talk about an event coming up this sunday that is kind of near and dear to you right right uh, both christy and i are avid motorcyclists and there's a great ride happening this sunday uh, called the great escape ride uh, it's a tribute to Steve McQueen, who died of mesothelioma. Uh, my special place for it is my father passed away five years ago from mesothelioma, so I have a very special place for this event, and all the money goes there. We leave Glendale, Harley-Davidson at 8.30. Uh, registration opens, ride starts at 10, and we head up to Newcomb Ranch, which is a beautiful ride up uh, the Angels Crest, Angels Forest Highway. Um, and the one thing about the ride is that it's... Uh, the police actually escort it, so it's a really nice, comfortable ride. Lots of celebrities are there, and it, it's a, it's a great a great cause for us, and so it uh, something that uh, we thoroughly enjoy doing. Now, I think a lot of people who who may not know mesothelioma uh, beyond the TV commercials that are out there sometimes with the attorneys and things like that, it's actually a very devastating form of cancer that attacks the tissues that surround the organs inside the body, and especially. Uh, uh, focuses on lungs, but can focus on other tissues as well. So it's it's very, very dangerous and very, very deadly. And of course, they don't really, not quite a cure for it yet, right? At this point, there is not a, a real cure for it. Um, one of the other things in, in the older generation, asbestos was certainly something that caused it. My father was in the Navy and uh, worked around the gunner ships and so filled with asbestos. And uh, one of the major things that gives you mesothelioma uh, from that generation was asbestos. So i um, very happy to say that his sort of contacting mesothelioma and passing away was very short but uh, it's a very it attacks you very severely and just you know takes away your life very quickly either way and of course uh, Steve McQueen a uh, venerable movie star and uh, avid motorcyclist himself and so that is uh, awesome to kind of link this with that uh, registration is at greatest the greatest escape dot org now you are an avid motorcyclist how long have you been riding I've been riding since I was 16 so probably close to 37 years Wow uh, talking about about uh, this event um, you don't have to be a rider. There's also the Paramount Ranch. You can enjoy lunch and entertainment for only $25. So if you don't have a motorcycle, you still want to participate, you can still get out there and have fun and, and meet a few people, meet Lloyd. And um, uh, are you bringing the entire family? or? Christy will be there. Uh, she isn't able to ride this year. She uh, had surgery a little bit ago. but uh, So she will be there in spirit, both at Glendale and at Newcomb's Ranch. Um, and Newcomb's Ranch is an awesome place for anybody that hasn't been there. It uh, is a great view, um, good people, great restaurant. And there will be vendors there and, and a band. Um, so there's lots of things to do, even if you just want to come up and join us um, for the sort of festivities. You can also join us at Glendale Harley-Davidson, which is a great HD shop here um, in, in Southern California, probably one of the best, I think, and that uh, you can come down and join us there in the morning as well. So Outstanding. Now, uh, it's hard to believe um, that it's been 30 years since Ferris Bueller's Day Off that movie had come out. Did, I have to ask in Canada, did you see that when it came out originally? Or? Absolutely. I'm a huge fan of Ferris Bueller. And uh, so I know there's there's probably some events going on there. Um, uh, anything anything uh, anything exciting happening for for that event or, or just uh, not that I'm aware of Christy obviously is, is part of that more than me and mm -hmm. uh, that's not my my thing sort of the Hollywood scene or whatever but uh, I know that she will uh, be doing something for it but uh, at this point I'm not sure 100% what it will be well outstanding so uh, I want to talk a little bit uh, about some of your events now uh, how many how many gold or I'm sorry bronze medalists right and Correct. how many of those have you have you picked up? I got two bronze medals. Two from bronze 92 medals. And, 94. and it was figured 
figure skating it was paired, right? You're Correct. With- I skated with a partner, the partner that I won my medals with. We skated together for 18 years. Wow. Now, is that something? Is it typical for partners to stay together or, uh, for that amount of time? Is it? Is it? Or do do other skaters um, switch every now and then? How does that In work? In my generation, we stayed together with our partner for a long time. That created a bond. That created uh, great chemistry on the ice. Uh, nowadays, people tend to switch a little bit quicker. I think that people are looking for the immediate success as opposed to the long, long-range success. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. I just think it, it creates a little bit more difficulty in, in, in achieving what you want because you're always looking for something better and maybe something better is right in front of you. We all have our weaknesses and the, the ability to be able to train your weaknesses and find somebody that their strengths, their your weaknesses, and vice versa. That's what makes you a great team. Now, talking about uh, off the air from Canada, and it seems like skating is kind of a natural thing as opposed to here we got to load up and go to Ice Station Valencia to do any of that stuff. And so it's it's not always something that we focus on here unless you specifically want your kids to play hockey or kids have something like that. But it's more of a natural progression, almost like maybe skateboarding or surfing is out here. How did you... Did, did you think about as, as, as a young person that you were going to be a figure skater? Or how did you get into that? I think in Canada, everybody skates. It's cold for so long. Um, we love the snow and anything that goes along with it. And obviously, ice, sk- ice skating outdoors is certainly one of those things. Uh, I got involved in figure skating. I tried to play hockey at the age of seven and uh, was told that I couldn't skate very well. So the only, the only option for me in the little town I grew up in was to take figure skating lessons. Uh, I quickly became good at it. I loved it. Uh, you know, for me, it was it was great. I, I really enjoyed it. There was uh, lots of girls, and I was the only boy, so I kind of they took me under their wing, and it was fun. And so I just stayed with it and found it very enjoyable. Uh, that's the thing. I, you know, it's the thing that, like choir and drama growing up. That was me. Yes, it was plenty of opportunities to to get the attention that way. But I, I would think that that figure skating is actually more difficult than than hockey. Am I wrong, or is there? There's a lot of attributes about skating that are much more difficult than hockey. I think if you look at, for example, the Toronto Maple Leafs, who hired uh, Barbara Underhill, uh, who is a girl that I used to compete against, a good friend of mine. She is their skating coach. She's wow. four foot ten, about eighty-seven pounds, and she skates circles around all of those players. Um, a bunch of people, the Edmonton Oilers, have hired Dave Peltier, who everybody knows was an Olympic medalist from Salt Lake City. Um, they, he is their skating coach. So I think that people are starting to realize that. Skating is one entity of hockey. Obviously, there's many others. Uh, I play the game myself recreationally. I love the game. But uh, in in order to be a good hockey player, first and foremost nowadays with open ice, less checking, you have to be a great skater. If you're not a great skater, you're not going to succeed. So you might as well learn in the beginning. Exactly. Uh, Lloyd Eisler, Olympic medalist, uh, will be participating in the fourth annual Greatest Escape Motorcycle Ride. It's this Sunday. Registration at 8.30 a.m. Now, where is it? It's kicking off from Glendale where? Glendale Harley-Davidson. Glendale Registration's Harley. at 8.30. The ride leaves at 10 o'clock. Uh, you can learn more at thegreatestescape.org. And remember, you don't have to be a rider. You can come up to the Paramount Ranch and enjoy lunch and entertainment for only $25 and participate in this event. Of course, it's a cause uh, raising awareness and uh, money for uh, re- mesothelioma research named uh, for uh, Steve McQueen. Of course, The Great Escape movie, which is an awesome, awesome movie. I think the only World War II movie that involved a motorcycle to that degree. But uh, also, it's a good opportunity. Greatest Escape org, the greatest escape.org. Lloyd Eisler, thank you so much for stopping by. Really, thank really you, George. Appreciate I appreciate it. it.